So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem to niggas is ballin' and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob four four seven back at it again with some NCAA basketball ten. And you guys know I haven't posted in a while, but the videos will be coming back. I had a lot of work to do, you know, spring break and all. But I would like to announce that it is now shoot your shot season. If you don't know what that means, look it up. All right, and you guys see for our first game of this season six, I believe. May I think it might be season seven. Yeah, I think this is season seven. We will be going up against. The Murray State Racers. This is either season six or season seven, but either way, our team is kind of decimated. If you saw the off-season episode, Shaka Wimberly decided to go pro, and I believe Malcolm Holmes decided to transfer. So we're only like six deep right now with our roster, but we come out to a good start as Doug Givens knocks down a three. So Damian Dunn, he's gonna pass it out to Doug, and Doug gets the buckets don't confuse them with dougie make but make buckets to be honest we're a very good team we're 16th in the nation but we just don't have a lot of depth okay and that is going to be a hindrance and also you guys know that this shit is kind of glitched for me because i've said it before so it might be a little hard subbing in people so you guys see doug givens getting fouled knocks down the first free throw also when mlb comes out you guys definitely will get some gameplay so be sure to look out for that one and doug givens Gets his second free throw to go, making it a 9-2 to two ball game with 10.43 left to go. So, Joshua Everett's going to take this one to the cup, gets the layup to go over the defenders. And I'm so happy I still have Josh Everett and Tyson Chambers. And whoo, Josh Everett, he has learned to step up his game over the years. Now he is a junior, and he's playing out of his mind right there. But Murray State, they're not backing down as they score another bucket, making it 8-9. to nine. And Josh Everett gets a steal. He's going to pass to Doug Givens, who's running in transition. And he's going to get the layup to go. So, so far, so good for the Pride right now. And you guys see Tyson Chambers has it. He's going to back up, pull up, knock down, jumper for Tyson Chambers. He's do He does that a lot. And a lot of people have mentioned I should do a series with uh, UNCW. I decided not to because, like, uh, they're in the same conference as Hofstra, and, I, and I've played all those opponents, so it'd be kind of weird. That's why TCU is kind of different, because uh, it's in the Mountain West. Uh, and hopefully I can change conferences in that one, because as soon as our team starts to get better, uh, hopefully I can try to transition to the Big 12. I, I know some of you guys are probably confused why I'm not in the Big 12. Well, that's because TCU originally wasn't in the Big 12. But you guys see, we're trying to get a lead going. And Tyson Chambers definitely adds to it as he knocks down a three, making an 11-point game with 4.58 left to go. And, oh, that is piss-poor defense. We cannot let buckets like that get past this. So uh, Joshua Everett is going to get the pick up top, pull up, knock down from the elbow, He's already got 11 points, 5 for 5 from the field, and he's shooting pretty hot. And also, guys, let me know if your brackets are busted. Mine is definitely busted. But, you know, your boy made some second chance brackets, okay? So, hopefully, I can win those, all right? You guys see Doug Gibbons got fouled, so he's going to the line. And he knocks down his first free throw, making it a 38-28 ball game. Murray State, they're still hanging in there, but uh, in the second half, you know how we do. You know how we do. So we're up by 14, about to eclipse 50 if we get a bucket right here. So I'm holding for the last shot. I see Joshua Everidge in the corner. Doug Gibbons is going to set a pick for him. He's going to pass it out to Tyson Chambers, who gets blocked on that one. And that will end the half. 48 to 34. We're up. This is a good game, high octane offense, but we got to keep our guys fresh. I mean, we can't really keep them that fresh considering the fact that we only go like six, seven deep because of our decimated roster. But you guys see, we're shooting 70% from three and 70% from the field, which is absolutely amazing. So if we keep that up, there's no doubt in my mind that we can lose, that we win this game. Like, to be honest, I don't think I've ever shot this well in a game before, but so far, so good, and we almost get a steal right there, but Murray State, they do get that layup to go. So, uh, also, if you guys' brackets did get busted, I didn't want to know if any of you guys picked a one seed to actually lose. Now, the one time that a one seed was really close to losing was with Murray State. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. I didn't remember. I had to do my research, but uh, there was this guy named Popeye Jones on his team. And they were a 16 seed, and they gave the one seed a run for their money. I think it was a one-point game. And also, I think UNC Asheville also gave 
Syracuse problems when Syracuse was a one seed. They were, Syracuse was either a one seed or a two seed, but I do remember that game. I'm like, Syracuse, y'all stop playing now. And Jared Griffith, he knocks down that jumper, making it a 10-point lead. So uh, Murray State, they're still in this one, but that foul is not going to help them at all as Damian Dunn will be going to the line as English commits the foul. Damian Dunn, a sophomore, hopefully he can add on to what his career has only begun here. Last year, he had a pretty decent season. Now that Shaka's gone, he can definitely step into the role as that big man who can take command. And he knocks down that second free throw, making it a 12-point game. I don't know why I paused at this point. I think I went to get my subs in, and my subs didn't come in. So I was like, what the heck is going on? So... Anyway, you guys see that Jared Griffith is going to the line. Another sophomore who knocks down his first free throw. He's definitely going to be vital because if anything, he's going to be giving us some energy off the bench. We need some shooting off the bench. And he's our only guard coming off the bench. So I got to Like, the rest of the people are walk-ons, okay? So we're really decimated right now. These are basically going to be called the pride years because... Whew. I mean, we got great players, but we don't have a lot of depth. And you guys know we relied heavily on depth in years past. And Tyson Chambers knocks down that one, and he was set free by that pick. And you guys can see it now. We're up by 21. Like I said, in the second half, that's where we thrive. You guys see Doug Givens running down the court. Finishes with a windmill over two defenders. And that one makes it a 23-point lead with five minutes to go. So you guys see Tyson Chambers kicking it to Damian. Done as he is that one to go so we're up big i think it's 23 points uh i'm not that great at math but yeah 23 but now we're only about 21 so with four minutes to go can't really put the bench players in because you know uh the substitution glitch but yep joshua average knocks down another jumper we're not shooting as well as we did last half but we are def we definitely padded our lead. We played better defense. I mean, that wasn't great defense right there in that sequence. But uh, in other sequences that you guys didn't see, we played better defense. And that's why we have this lead that we do have now. And Damian Dunn stretching it out and knocks down the two, making it a 23-point lead. You guys see that Everidge has six assists already in this game. But Murray State, you know, they're, they're trying to claw back. They're not going to do it. But... They're down by 20 as they knock down that three. Jerry Griffith is going to kick it to Tyson Chambers, who knocks down a three. He he said, yeah, yet yeah, nope, this one's over. This one is over. So Jerry Griffith, he's going to take it back, call for the pick. He's going to pull up, knocks down a jumper. Our guards are too nasty. Okay, they're just too nasty. And Joshua Everidge gets the and one as he'll be going to the line. Fouled by Baja Goss. That's a nice name, Baja Goss. But you guys see 19 points, 9 for 14. He's, play he's playing like a man. All right, that's how upperclassmen should play. So you guys see Damian Dunn has the ball, kicking it to Doug Givens. Doug Givens is going to take it. Gets the and one as he gets fouled by Thaddeus Rich. So he'll be going to the line. He's got 25 points on 10 for 16 shooting. This is crazy. And he converts on the and one, making it a almost 30-point game. And he's going to get the layup, and that makes it a 31-point game. We blew Murray State out of the water this half. They didn't know... They didn't know what to do. They were playing like chickens with their head cut off. Uh, they definitely couldn't race with us. But you guys see, we dribble off the clock. And we get the victory in Hempstead. As you guys see, players of the game, Doug Givens, of course, 28 points, 8 rebounds. That's a man. That is a man out there. I believe he's a junior. Uh, if not, he might be a sophomore. But you guys see... Uh, Devin Kennedy didn't do much. Uh, most of our starters did some. Yep, Doug Gibbons is a sophomore. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe.